Hello everyone. So in the last episode we made it possible to place this object, but it uh, it was kind of just arbitrary. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of work on that today. One of the things that I did is I made it so that the object we were placing, which was this, is now inside of another object. And the only reason for that is because I want the rotation to be 0, 0, 0. Um, I've also created a rigid body on this object with a little bit of uh, movement drag. Uh, and I've freezed, I froze the rotation. Now the problem you're probably going to run into real quick is it looks like um, Unity is, is having a tough time with two mesh colliders. I can't get it to work when there's two mesh colliders. So we're going to make this a very simple box collider instead. Like so. Uh, that won't matter much from our perspective, but if you are doing much more complicated meshes you might have to figure out why um, why Unity has decided that it's not going to let me do that. I, I tried for about 10 minutes. Couldn't get it to work. Now it should though. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a script for our new kind of object, which is a droppable module. And we're going to go ahead and put that... Oh, I, thought I, I deleted it from the screen just as I needed it. Brilliant! Droppable module. Here it is find the pixel where it lets me add it, and then open it up here. So we want the droppable module to actually fall, so we're going to go ahead and move it upwards after it's been placed. Like that. And in that way it should fall from the sky. Um, now I did have to actually... Um, I did go ahead and set this to the, the, the way that it's correct, where I, this used to be two lines, now it's just one. Um, it's just a minor thing that doesn't, doesn't actually change how anything works, it's just how I prefer it. So we hit space, and wait, and here it comes. Kunk. There you go. can't. If we actually are careful, we should be able to click on the ground close enough to one of those that they land on top of each other. And you can see that they bounce. They also get stomped to hell when we run across them. Um, well, actually, we get, we get a little bit of height, so we actually don't hit them quite as hard as we could. But you can see we can kick them around. And I, right now, that's actually how I want it. Later on, we'll probably optimize it so that the uh, physics don't get simulated quite so uh, aggressively. But for now, this is really good, because one of the other things it does is it will automatically detect... Oh yeah, please, pull up GIMP, the crappiest of the freeware solutions for... See, it'll automatically detect when we're grabbing bricks out from underneath it, and they'll fall. Can't look down quite far enough. Oh, did I make... Oh, one of the things we're going to, have to do soon is make it so that I can zoom in and out with the camera. I should have done that a long time ago. I don't know why I haven't still done it. There we are. So that's it for today. They now fall from the sky. And in the next episode, maybe we'll get onto inventories, or maybe I'll fix our camera up a little bit. Haven't decided. There's a lot of stuff left to do, and it's just a matter of which order we do things in. Obviously, I've radically decreased the view distance just for testing purposes. Alright, see, see you next time.